uh, I want to, uh, to start with one story. Well, it said that on the day when Alexander the Great became the ruler of the world, he locked himself in a room and cried. His generals were worried. They never saw him cry, even though they were in different situations when death was very close, but no one ever noticed traces of disappearing his face. He was always an example of courage. But what happened now? Now, when he won, they knocked and read and asked, what happened, sir? Why are you crying? And Alexander replied, now, when I won, I realized that I had lost. I'm in the same place where I was when I started to conquer the world. It became clear to me only now because before I was on the way, I had a goal. But now I have nowhere to move, no one to conquer, and I feel terrible emptiness inside me. Without goals, our life becomes just an existence. But a meaningful life helps us to enrich like others. Every person wants to be useful. Every person wants an old age looking back to understand that he has lived a captivating life. And exactly goals gives meaning and happiness to our life. We have different purpose. So someone wants to find a good job, someone wants to find a love, etc. 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 Let me tell you one goal of mine. Um, it's really in a massage, but I want to tell it. So since my childhood, I've been dreaming how I will help people. And it was such a picture in my mind, sunset. I see some kids which admires it, thinks about his or her dreams, future. I count and ask, what is your dream? And he or she starts telling me. Next day I come and make it real. The person is ecstatic. It's what I call happiness. Yes, this way I can't help every person in the world, but maybe it can become an example. And together we will make more people happy. It may sound vague, but big goals are made from small ones it's like building brick by brick and uh, the first brick to my goal was becoming a motivational speaker now i am and uh, this way i already have changed some lives and keep going i like to help i like to hear words of gratitude addressed to me and not always I help uh, with material things. I change mind. These emotions that I get when do good deeds, it's what I call happiness. I have goals. It's why I get up every morning. I can't deny that sometimes there are such moments when everything is crumbling. You lose motivation, you lose control. And even you can lose your goal. This summer I was preparing to organize trainings in camps and uh, talk with guys about leadership, thinking, goal setting, etc. I called to 40 camps with my offer and uh, they liked it but said no. Coronavirus. Because of the pandemic, no one was allowed into the camps. It was that moment when I was lost. Yes, I will try next year again, but, but what now? About one, two weeks, I was searching for an answer. It's why I'm here. Ted became a new goal. Like the second wind is opening. And uh, our word, uh, has a lot of opportunities 
to make our dreams real, even the most ambitious. Since my childhood, I set big goals. And my grandma always says, you have so ambitious goals, but only God knows how you achieve it. But I never thought about this. An answer always comes to me. And recently I found out about reticular activating system. This system plays a part in many biological processes like sleep, breathing, heartbeat, etc., etc., etc. But it has some peculiar GPS. It works like the internet. For example, when you search something in the internet, you tag some keywords and uh, get the answer. And you don't see how you will achieve it, how it will happen, how the internet uh, will find it. Here is the same thing. Uh, the main point here is to know what exactly you, what you want and uh, don't see how it will happen. Uh, because when you think exactly how it will happen, this system starts such an answer in your mind only. But there's sometimes no answer. And when you see exactly what you want, reticular activating system starts to focus your attention on things that will help you to achieve your goal. Let me tell you one exa example of, from my life. So when I was 13 years old, I was thinking about a way to earn money. But uh, my age wasn't allowed to get a job and uh, I didn't want to work a higher. Then one great idea appears. I started to make bouquets of sweets and still continue this business. Then it was just a goal, but now it's my reality. Well, our life is not so long as it seems. With the average of life expectancy 70 years old, we sleep 25 years. We eat three years in transport. We spend also three years, 11 years at work, and 20 years we interact with gadgets. What we have? We have only eight years to become happy. Let's not waste this time watching TV. Let's spend it traveling, communi communicating, and achieving our goals. And remember, not you has to see the world, but the world has to see you. Thanks for your attention.